Good morning students. Today I'm going to explain you your unit 5 Reef 1 Winkle. This story is about Reef 1 Winkle, a good natured but lazy man who goes away into the hills and falls asleep. When he awakens 20 years later, Reef finds that quite a few things have changed so children this is a very interesting lesson so stay with me many years ago at the foothills of the Katskill Katskill mountains is the name of a mountain was a little village in the village lived a simple good-natured fellow named Rip Van Winkle there was a small village uh, at the foothills of Cartskill. There lived one man whose name was Rivan Winkle. He was a kind neighbor, ready to help anyone. Everyone in the village liked him. The children of the village shouted with joy whenever he saw him because he played with them. He taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles and told them long stories. And you know, this man was liked by everybody in the village because he was very good kind neighbor and ready to help everyone and the children especially they liked him very much because he played with them he taught them how to fly the kites shoot marbles and used to tell them long stories the only problem with rip was that he was very lazy he did not he did no work on his farm, on farm and just idled away. Idled away means wasted his time. His fences were falling to pieces. His cow was going astray. Weeds grew on his farm. Rip's constant companion, constant companion means steady partner, okay, was his dog. And his name was Wolf. To avoid work, he would walk away into the forest with his dog. And... You know he was liked by everybody in the village but his problem was he was a very lazy person he did no work for his own uh, home or farm and his steady partner was his dog whose name was wolf and to avoid the walk he used to walk into the forest with his dog one day Rip just walked on and on and reached the highest part of the mountain. It was late in the afternoon when he reached there. Tired after his long climb, he lay down and began daydreaming. It was soon evening and he realized it would be night by the time he reached his village. Now, one day when he uh, went for the forest with his dog, he walked on and walked on. And he reached the highest part of the mountain and when he tried to return it was late afternoon okay and he was also tired after a, a long climb so what he did he uh, was tired and he lay down on the ground and started sleeping in the daytime it was soon evening when he realized when he opened his eyes it was evening time now he thought it will be night before night i have to reach the village suddenly he heard a voice calling out rip one winkle rip one winkle he looked around and saw a short old man with thick hair and a grizzled beard walking towards him with a barrel he made a sign to help him carry the barrel Rip hurried to help the stranger who caught his hand tightly and when he was uh, about to move towards his village he heard his name okay somebody was calling his name so when he looked around he saw a short man short old man uh, with uh, thick hair and the grizzled beard grizzled means uh, everything scattered okay not uh, in order and he was carrying a barrel barrel means a wooden container he made signs he asked him to he just um, uh, show the sign 
okay to help him to carry the barrel and you know rip was always ready to help anybody so he uh, hurried to help the stranger and that uh, and uh, he caught his hand tightly okay together they reached a place where there were some more odd looking men playing nine pins and uh, from there they moved to another place where he found that some more uh, odd looking men like that short fellow playing nine pin a kind of game okay they were all dressed the same way and all of them had beards of various shape and color and those little people uh, they, their dress was quite similar and they had all they all had beards but with different shape and different color even though they were playing a game their faces were serious and there was silence the only sound was the noise of the balls which echoed in the mountains like thunder and even uh, though they were playing the nine pins game their faces were so serious they were not happy at all okay there uh, there was no sound but it was a silence the only sound which uh, was there were the noise of the balls which echoed in the mountain like thunder here you can see the game of nine pins okay as rip and his companion reach them you know companion his uh, dog wolf so when they reach near these uh, little people they stop playing and stared it means to look continuously with a surprise at rip with a fixed gaze to can look continuously okay rip was really frightened when they looked at the rip uh, with fixed gaze rip was really frightened frightened means to uh, be afraid his companion emptied the contents of the barrel into glasses and made rip drink it and you know his uh, friend that little man what he did he uh, pour something from the barrel into the glass and made rip to drink uh, he asked the rip to drink it rip obeyed as he was trembling with fear obeyed means to uh, listen to him okay he drank the uh, liquid given by that uh, small little fellow because he was so afraid okay of them since he was thirsty he drank a few more glasses and slowly fell into a deep sleep and you know after a long uh, walk he was very much <clears throat> uh, thirsty also so he drank more glasses of that liquid and slowly he fell into a deep sleep on waking up he found that he was at the place where he had first met the old man he rubbed his eyes he was a bright it was a bright sunny morning surely i have not slept here all night thought rip now after the sleep when he woke up <clears throat> he found himself at the same place where he first met the uh, little man okay he rubbed his eyes and when he looked uh there it was a bright sunny morning and he uh thought that surely he had slept here all night okay he thought he slept there for one full night uh -huh. he looked around for wolf you know wolf his dog but he was nowhere rip whistled for him <clears throat> now rip uh, made a whistling sound to call the uh, call his companion dog wolf wolf he then shouted no dog was to be seen where has this dog gone he muttered to himself muttered means to speak himself okay he began to descend descend means to move down okay the mountain to go back to his village now when he uh shouted for his dog there was no dog dog was gone and 
he began to move down towards his village as he neared the village he met a number of people but he did not know any of them the villagers also stared at him equally surprised who is this man said one now when he started uh, moving towards his village when he came near his village his own village he met many people but he did not know any one of them the villagers also stared him equally with a surprise okay they looked at uh, this man ripon winkle with a surprise they all said who is this man i have never seen him before said another look at his long white beard and his wrinkled face and uh, among the villagers one of them asked who is this man another said no i don't know i have never seen this man before and another one said look at his long white beard and his wrinkled face and one fellow with a surprise he said that look at this old man with a white beard and wrinkled face wrinkle means the face when we become very very old uh, our face uh, gets wrinkled okay now this rip van winkle was very old on hearing this rip struck his chin and to his astonishment he found his beard had grown a foot long and it was all white after hearing this people saying about his uh, appearance he touched his chin okay and he found that really his uh, beard had grown very very long an old woman walked up to him and looked at his face for a moment then she exclaimed it is rip van winkle welcome home again old neighbor where have you been these 20 long years then an old woman came near him and looked at his uh, face for a moment then she uh, exclaimed exclaimed means to uh, be surprised okay it is rip van winkle she recognized the person that he was none other than rip van winkle and she said welcome again old neighbor and she asked where have you been these 20 long years and you know children this uh, rip van winkle he what he thought he thought that he had slept in the forest for only one night but actually he was there for 20 long years that's why his uh, uh face uh, skin was wrinkled and he grow his uh, beard had grown very long and white okay so this story is adapted from the legend of rip van winkle and this story was written by washington irving okay so i hope you enjoyed the story please go through the lesson and uh it is a very interesting story so that's all for today see you in the next class bye bye children